Okay, at my lad's house, just for anybody who's beginners, ladies, gentlemen, doesn't matter who it is, just going to show you how to change a ball cock. So we've isolated the water, or we turned it off at the mains, this is an isolation valve. So I've turned that off, we flushed the toilet, so there's hardly any water in the system. And now what we've got to do, we've got to undo, if yours looks like this, this is the new one. Okay, so we've got to fit the ball, which we'll do when we get it all out. And then what we'll do, we'll undo this main, um, it's like this is from 15 mil pipe, undo that. As we pull that back, we'll undo these two. I'll show you as we go along, and then we'll take the whole unit forward and out. Okay, so all we're gonna do is undo this first. So an adjustable, whatever you want, or a spanner. And there we go, that's quite straightforward. Bit of water there that went in your toilet roll, George. Mm. Sorry, and then we might need a bigger one unless you've got one. We're gonna need a bigger one than that, or a pair of mole grips, or a monkey wrench. Just taking, the ball, just taking the ball off, getting adjusted on there. It's a little bit awkward this one because my lad hasn't got the tool of it, so I might have to go back home and get one. Then, so under the brass bit. So it's where we live is very, very hard water. <clears throat> Eventually just got it undone. I haven't got to go over with a pair of pliers, but we might have to come back. It's not gonna leak. It doesn't it won't leak because where it reaches up to this, it goes through the overflow, which is this side here. Anyway, there we go. So we'll get the ball off now, which is a little bit. See the. I don't know if someone squeezed that, but. You didn't get a new ball with it then? No, I could have bought one, but. I sort of say that one pulled the ball and it just screwed off. Oh, we don't just unscrew the ball. We've already got the attachment on the end. So it's too plastic or what? Okay. Okay, what we've done, we've used the old one, but I don't know, actually I might just put the new one, because we're trying to get it to line up so it doesn't spray water over the end of the fitment here, but no matter how you put this on, thread ends up at the back there. I could force it a bit. Oh, that's it. That'll do, won't it? No, a bit more. If I break it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. Brick force and ignorance did it. Okay, that was lucky. Next thing is we've got to fit the ball. Pretty straightforward. There we go, nice and tight. And then we'll look where it goes in here. And we know it's going to hit this, so we need to adjust this so the ball goes further out. So, just... Do that. Bring it out. Just a rough guide. So I'm thinking there. Okay, just roughly. I'm just tighten the ball where I think it should be. So what we do now is just adjust it in here. So fit it back in. And I think a little bit more. So we can probably just push it a little bit. There you go. Maybe I'm just going to go a little bit more because we might be touching. We don't want to touch that unit. All right. Put him in. A little bit. Right now, put the other one. You can see they, they go around a certain way. They've got a lip. And the other one's got a lip, which is already on there. So just. Sure the ball is free so when it rises there we go look see make sure it's free just a little bit more that way 
You know, it's not the best fitting, George. It's not actually perfect. But then again, is it cheap? Yeah. Not really? Okay. So that's it. And then what we do then is line up this back up again. Push it in. Over tighten it just enough. So holding this here, you don't have to go mad, just enough till it crimps. Okay, and we should be there. That should be it. What we'll do is turn the water on the set. So you always going to use this special tool called the knife. <laughs> Are you going to screw it on it? Simple. Didn't have a proper tool, so don't blame me. <laughs> no leaks, just check for leaks when you got the pipe here. There's nothing there, it's just residue from where we bought some, but absolutely nothing. And there we go. That's it. Okay. If you enjoyed the vid, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And over here, is my subscribe button and notification bell and over here is the up and coming videos. Take care, catch you in the next one. When it's all back together, uh, don't forget you've got to adjust the ball roughly where the old one was, up the shaft here. Otherwise, if you don't get enough water in the system, she won't flush properly. Okay? Just a little tip there for you. Alright, all the best, take care.